Hello everyone, Jeff here and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be killing the secret boss. And you might think, hey, what do you mean secret boss? There's a secret boss? Yes, there is a secret boss. And he is extremely strong. So we're going to be... I, I switched up my mutations to get rid of my resource bonuses for stuff. We got some extra max health. We got some extra underbarrel recharge rate, rate at 69%, which is nice. Because we're going to be using the grenade launcher. And we're gonna do a one magazine infinite reload build kind of and we're gonna want to spawn down here and i'll show you guys so the the boss if you don't want to see it look away for a second the secret boss is right here and he spawns 24 minutes we're gonna start on the other side of the map though we're gonna start down um here and work our way up because this place has a good xp farm uh, we are also going to use shotgun because it starts with the little magazine count. You can also do this with pistol pretty reliably because you start by getting a bunch of augments, but I think shotgun probably does it fine. I am also using cursor movement for um, the drone and the bubble blade gun that I have for him. It seems to be the best one like I have a couple other guns that are slightly stronger probably single target but it's gonna be good in the meantime so things we don't want to do is upgrade our magazine size ever things we do want to do is increase our bullet damage and increase our crit chance and our max out our crit chance and max out our um bonus well we're not gonna max it out but important so this is unfortunately a whole bunch of trash here in fact i would argue that this is so bad like these options are so bad um that we're just gonna give up that's that's kind of what's going to be required here. Those set of power ups do not lead to um, optimal shenanigans at all. So we just run it back. It's fine. Thankfully, it happens really quick. Um, the odds of hitting three that I don't want is pretty low that early. And once you have one you want, normally you're going to get an upgrade at some point. So it's not that big a deal. But like, it's just a thing. All right, scoped sight. This one's interesting. Um, Umbral Reaper is pretty good. Also, you don't get the damage fall off when using a shotgun, so I like that a lot. I don't think we're really giving up anything that matters here because we still get the ammo rack. No, we don't. That take covers up the ammo rack, so we can't use it. Uh, we can't use bayonet because that's the grenade and oh brass knuckle grip is fine we get the razor launcher grip uh every time uh we reload it fires one which is really really good it also gives us some tankiness i mean it might not be the best grip like statistically if you do all the stuff i'm still trying to figure that out um i am working on a okay so fire rate is gonna be important crit chance i think we're just gonna get from boss stuff i am working on like collecting all the stats for these things jet stock pretty good like the rate of fire goes crazy um like i said i think we'll get spike grip later i'm gonna reroll we don't need planet buster i don't think we need either of those i'd rather we're rolling something. Okay, grenade launcher is great. I think grenade launcher is great in this build specifically. I don't think grenade launcher is that great typically. Um, the other thing I'm kind of interested in, which is going to be weird for me to say, because I'm on record as not really appreciating it. Vampiric mags, mags would go kind of insane right here. Um, I'm going to take the move speed of bullet seed bullet speed not bullet seed although you you could you could argue 
the way we are putting these bullets into these creatures. I'm going to stop there. Um, we'll take crit bonus. Just taking crit bonus is also, like, not a terrible strategy. And if you haven't seen in my, like, recent videos, you know that in a minute or two, this drone becomes able to basically solo the game for about 10 minutes. So that's good. All right, so here's the deal. If we take Blood Magazine, right, we get to go with this. So while we're above 50% health, our bullets deal a lot more damage and whatnot. And killing heals us. The benefit here, if we take this, is that with the top row of of grenade launcher, there is the pineapple thing for, with it, which will <laughs> which will heal us. And we're going to be getting like infinite casts. So here's the synergy. Now, the downside to this is obviously all the extra reload speed we're getting for this is literally thrown to the waste. But our other options aren't really options like. We don't want the weighted stock. We do not. But that's another thing I should probably talk about. We do not want to move slower. Um, the boss, the secret boss, he is fast as hell. Like, he will be running us down if we don't up our movement speed, so that's something we need to probably think about a little bit. Um, if we're not just one-shotting him, which, you know, it's it's possible. I'll take bullet count and HP regen. HP regen, not bad here. Alright, perfect. Our, our drone is... Uh, it's not quite there yet. It has to get a few more levels so that the blades start casting faster and then it can actually just cleave through everything. Right now they're actually, they don't do enough damage so they run out of penetrations, but I can kind of use it as a paintbrush. It's pretty neat. All right, bullet count up is fine. Look at all this XP we got. Underbarrel recharge rate is good, but I want bullet damage. We get two levels and banishes here, which is nice. Chevron charm. This is early enough. I think we take it. We don't really. We don't really worry about it. Like we're just happy and we banish this and we banish this. Not that it matters. And then we come over here. And we. I'm pretty sure what we're doing is we're grabbing Hellfire battle bear <laughs> battle. I think we're grabbing Hellfire, Hell Splitter. Sp Holy words. Hell Spitter, not Hell Splitter, not Hellfire. Maybe I just call it Hellfire Barrel. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> we're doing it so we could get to Hellfire Barrel. Uh, because we're going to max out our fire rate. Um, and, uh, you know, setting enemies on fire. We don't really care about the extra bullets here because we want higher damage. Lightweight stock is good. So is jet stock. I'm trying to think of which one we actually want more here because I'm going to banish the other one. So jet stock gives them more reload speed, which is a waste. Conversely, storm stock gives a ton of bullet damage. Um, extra move speed is really good. But jet stock's gonna give us more movement speed too and better rate of fire. I think I'd rather have jet stock. So I think what we're gonna do is banish this. Take the hell spitter. I said it right that time. We're going to pick up this one. We'll take the greased hell spitter. I forgot now that I'm manual firing, I actually have to fire my gun. It's so frustrating those are linked. They aren't linked to controller, but they're linked in... <laughs> they're linked on mouse and keyboard. It's just the oddest decision, but I mean, it's all right. Our, our drone will clean up everything. Our accuracy won't be that great though. Special power, enemies, enemy spawn rate isn't terrible. 
So there's a, like, the reason you spawn over here is because of all the XP you get from these guys. Um, this is like the spot. And then we're just gonna have to make a journey. So at some point I am kind of interested in move speed. I'm probably gonna wait till the first boss before we start traveling. I think 20 minutes is enough time to get to the secret zone without stressing about it. Scope sight, stock mounted scanning system. You motherfuckers. <laughs> We still don't have ammo rack, which is like a a problem, right? Um, like, I, it, we don't have ammo rack. So because we don't have ammo rack, I think we're locked into taking this, which means we don't get the jet um, augment, which is just bad. Uh, this goes on top, can't use it. Weighted stock, again, we could use it, but it slows us down, so that's bad, so we're just... <sighs> unlucky, unlucky. So this is where scheduling your stuff comes in handy, and having more, like, reroll pods and stuff. And... I would say... Investing into more pod resources is nice, and there is an end game there. I have, like, only two of each pod, so I could have a lot more. Which is why it's important to have a farming gun. Bullet damage. Um, I'm gonna set off this mine real quick. Drone just kind of does his own thing. He's just chilling. He's pretty effective in wacko mode, I found, but this is like the real. The real power of it right now is of this setup is being able to just control it how you want. All right, we did a little bit of heals here. It's nice. That's a nice one. I, Cause yeah, like right now with the pods, there's two of each. I'm pretty sure you can get up to six of each if I read everything correctly. It's just extremely, extremely resource intensive. Brother, I don't, we are rolling bad. No ammo rack still. Like still? All right, give me the grenade launcher, I guess. Like, there comes a time when this does not work if we don't get it. Uh, let's get out of the, let's get out of the little grenades. Another reason I like rush as the uh, as my preferred skill of choice with the three currently in the game is when you step on a minefield by accident, you're just like, oh, get me out of here. Let's get out of here, Scoobs. All right, Split Serpent is going to um, unceremoniously die here. Yeah. Yeah. So here are the choices. We could take Blood and Thunder. We could take Glory and Victory, which we're almost certainly going to do. It's very, very strong. Splitter's exact is fine, but I don't want the HP down. And airdrop capacity plus rate of fire plus crit bonus is all things I want. I'm actually going to take this for another airdrop capacity and hopefully we get four options on our next special our next augment uh, pod. And that way, maybe we actually hit. Um, that was a lot of mines. Maybe we actually hit uh, ammo rack. That'd be crazy. Like the thing with ammo rack is it's good even prior to getting the final upgrade. It gives us more ammo. These are not your droids I was looking for. Um, look, I'll take Frost Turbine, actually. Underbarrel recharge rate is not the worst thing in the world. 
All right, hit me. I am obviously priced into taking ammo rack at this point. Even though this is the grenade launcher we want, and this is the barrel that we want, we have to take the ammo rack. Because there's a good chance that we may never see it again if we don't take it. So that kind of, like, buffs are gone. It kind of nerfs our grenade launcher for the moment. But long term, all right, we get filed off magazine. That's something else that was discovered, apparently by the Discord. Uh, Drac, I think it's Drac. I hope I'm just not saying it wrong. I'm sorry if I am. It's Drac or Drake or something like that. Uh, he comments on my videos a lot. He's like one of the main people in the Discord testing out builds and stuff. Um, Hellfire Barrel versus Raging versus Spiked Grip. XP gain rate's probably best right now. Uh, mentioned this in my comment to the video yesterday that there are a couple of triggers to, like, certain, certain augments are what allow certain, uh, Of those upgrades to show up in the upgrade menu that I thought previously were like a rarity thing but it's not a rarity thing it's just you have to have a certain thing so file off magazine is one you can get once you have uh, an ammo rack and maybe a couple other things I'm not sure exactly bullet damage but by that logic that also means that there's other stuff um, there are other, um, augments that, you know, allow certain other upgrades that are a little bit different, which is interesting, and it has me wanting to experiment, so now I'm noting that, and I'm gonna keep track. Also, Steam just released its, uh, uh, like, Steam Record feature, which is kind of super neat, um, which also works on Steam Deck. Kind of sick if you want to like save clips and stuff. Because I don't always just record everything. Um, I'm going to take move speed here. No, I'm not. I'm going to take crit bonus. I lied. Uh, I want move speed, but I, I do need to take crit bonus. All right, we're going to start making our way downtown. Moving fast. Something, something. 2000s early 2000s <laughs> i don't know hey i've collected 2000 adamantite ore i have enough for my relic weapon it's a different game it's like probably like 10 different games hey tower could you like not have all the hp in the world what was that thing was buff all right we have an option here so getting to infinite ammo rack is the single best thing we can do however starting to scale our drone's power is very power is like Really good to the point that I think I'm gonna take that first so this path I'm taking also I would imagine I don't know if it's the most but well I don't think it's the most because I haven't mapped it out but it's hitting a ton of nest spots for extra extra XP, which is nice. This is why I'm like trying to level faster. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Just get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me and my child. My child's crazy. This is a drone. All right, Bertha's just going to die. I'm going to let Bertha come up here. Um, 
Or I thought you survived a little bit longer than I expected, to be honest. What do we get? So fame and fortune is fine. One of under's fine. Um, it's. Let's be honest. It's glory and victory. Glory and victory, and it's not. It's not close. <laughs> All right, we're going. We're going this way. I gotta make sure I do this right. It would be really bad to do this run and then not make it to the boss arena. Get some decent resources on the way. Again, I need to remake the video of having a good resource gun. I have not had a run where I got one like I, that I really like yet. Unfortunately. And you have to remember too, you want one that's good for your drone. So you want like a resource gun that basically just drops materials uh, as opposed to giving bonuses, which is something I kind of, I think I made a mistake on yesterday when I was making that video. I don't think the bonuses matter so much. I think it's more about if you're making it for your drone anyway, I think it's more about just making it drop as many credits as possible through like just naturally shooting. Oh, 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 we've got the, <laughs> we've achieved lightning ball now. My patented gun. This is this is patented by this channel, for the record. If you see anybody else using this, the lightning orb thing, I did it first. Probably, maybe, I don't know. That's, we're just gonna say I did. Or I was the first one to put it on my drone. I'm just gonna say things. Whether they're true or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> Just say whatever the hell you want in this world we live in. Um, here we go. No, I'm not like that. Unfortunately, I kind of wish I was. It'd be real easy to grift, I feel like. Seems like a lot of people are just selling stuff, just lying about it. All right, so let's get out of this early. So this is back to the starting zone. So we're going to have to, like, kill everything. He we're not going to have to kill everything. We're just going to keep walking through it. Uh, move speed, bullet speed, rate of fire, crit chance. It might be time to just take the crit chance. Wait 11 minutes. Yeah, this is definitely a late game setup I'm using. The thing is, it would really just spawn right in the... Right in the hole there, huh? Ow. I would like uh, to level. I, I will hit this, though. I will hit the resource uh, cache. Could be anything. I mean, it's just going to be a set of resources, but you need everything, so it's whatever. Is there a tower here at this corner? No. Tower here, right. Okay. I mean, that's basically at the tap at the corner. Let's be real. Did that vacuum, and then we continue on our merry way here. I'm actually like pressed for time at the moment. Not like in real life, just like I feel like we are behind right now. I know we're not, because if you look at the drone levels, we're plus three levels on our drone. But at the same time, it feels like we haven't leveled up in a while. And I just want to get out of the starter zone. This is going to make me feel better, I think. Yeah, this one's gonna make me feel better. So we can 
I don't think we're taking Major's Charm. It's cute as it is. Pretty sure it's ammo supercharging rack. And we just don't think about it any. All right, Big Carl is um, never going to exist in this world, unfortunately for him. And then we're going to get, we could get Carl's seed pod. I don't actually think that's terrible. Although, there is a thought that maybe by taking that, but, well, here's the question. Am I ever going to be able to expend all my grenade charges fast enough? I don't actually know. With all the under barrel recharge rate we have. Once we have infinite reloads. I'm saying all this like we do have to survive though and I'm at half HP. So that's like not great. I guess doing a tree quest wouldn't wouldn't hurt. It's a free half level. And I could take a I could take a max HP level up. Stay out of my zone. <laughs> bullet speed, bullet spread, 12% bullet count is wild. Quick fire trigger. So I wonder, does that come from the grip? Like, if you have that grip, does that mean you can pick that one up? Um, I'm gonna take bullet speed and move speed, though. Again, I, we need move speed. I'm also... At the same time, I don't even really know, because... Without getting jet stock like I wanted, I don't think we're gonna be fast enough to outrun the boss. Even... Like, we could probably outrun it while we're in dashing state. But while we're not in dashing state, I don't think we actually... I don't think we're fast enough. Which is, like, terrifying. What, what are these? I still don't think what these things are. You see them, like, randomly. But I don't, I don't know. So I feel like I'm, my lisp is coming out at the moment. I'm not really sure what's happening there either. I don't know. Maybe it's a full moon. <laughs> that tracks, that tracks. You know, full moons, lisps, werewolf, all the same. All the same thing. All right, the sucky sucky will help us. We want crit bonus. Didn't get it. We'll take rate of fire. I mean, all of our big upgrades are going to come later. Like, that's kind of just the way we've done it by hitting all of our stuff. All right, ammo rack. That's the wrong one. Major's charm. No. Blood magazine. This does increase our move speed. I don't hate that. It's also going to keep us at half life, but whatever. It's fine. We're fine. Just keep moving. Just keep destroying everything. We're about to step into the next area. Back to the elites. I mean, honestly, any area with mines, I think, is scarier than any area with elites. We're just going to move through here. Our dash, though.
pick that up. Come over here, crit bonus, rate of fire, R damage. How? <laughs> like, what? I got five options. What is this? Um, enemy spawn rate and the airdrop capacity, I guess, will help us. All right, Charger, you actually should help. This is 12 minutes now. No, we're 16. We're 16 minutes. Damn. All right, this is gonna be close. Because our gun is not finished. Like this is not a it's not a good gun right now. It will be a good gun. Um, okay. We're in. That is the first step to greatness. We just need the second part of that. Maybe what I did was I split my upgrades too much. Rate of fire move speed. Rate of fire bullet count move speed. Um, I want the higher move speed plus rate of fire, I think. Maybe we also spent too much time in the lower level area. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think it's unreasonable that I end up with, you know, three or so of the final upgrades I wanted, but is that gonna be enough? Like, I can't stress enough how ridiculous this final boss is. All right, let me, just give me something. I don't, whatever. Bullet damage, armor, max health. It's a lot of bullet damage. Now, I think I think it's just actually crit chance right now. Maybe vision range would have been good earlier too, just so I could like control the ball for a further area away. All right, do we get it? All right, reloading is instant now. It looks like our grenades are overcapped. It, yeah, it's never gonna, never gonna get lower. Um, I'm just gonna have the gun on auto aim now. So if that's the case, okay, let's go crit bonus and collection range. Now, this is one of the other good things about the underbarrel gun um, scaling separately or just scaling with your level. It ends up being pretty nice. Uh, rate of fire. We, we want we need a high rate of fire. We're going to need that. Uh, there's a bunch of mines down here, so I don't like that. But at the same time, I do want to be down here for the tower. I'm gonna pick that up and just get the hell out of here. I think there's some trees along the side. We're in the area of the boss now, so we've kind of made it. Okay, I've run 100,000 meters, and I will run 100,000 more. If I could run 100,000 meters. What, um... Hmm. I do like Razor Grip, because I think Razor Launcher Grip is insane. Alternatively, Full Fire Barrel is... really good. I'm gonna take... Razor Grip first, though. I think.
Okay, now we have to be kind of picky about what we're... I mean, we were picky at the start. But now we gotta be pretty picky about, like... What are we choosing? With only five minutes left, there's no guarantees we get everything. A bullet damage... I mean, yeah. Max health isn't useless. It's just not... It's not increasing our damage. I guess that's the... That's the point of it all. I thought there were more XP trees over here, but maybe I'm wrong. All right. Um, hmm. Bullet count. It's interesting, right? Because we have a setup where having an extra bullet count, they aren't like guaranteed to focus the same target. Special power. Unironically kind of decent right here. Maybe getting some grenade upgrades would be useful. This is a very powerful gun right now. Make no mistake. It just took 20 minutes to get here. All right. Big, big time. Well, I mean, we went down this path, so we have to take it. Uh, so every this is going to every shot add a blade that oh we have a four magazine size how did that happen how did our magazine size hit four anyways this thing does 3x damage and inflicts bleed cutting elements just like a frozen thing apparently which doesn't really help but whatever if we can get some more sawed off magazine upgrades that would be nice i don't know why oh, what did i accidentally take a magazine up thing i might have we also we also didn't get gang gang which is really unlucky oh, let's take crit chance up here gang gang has a thing that reduces your magazine size which is nice um he did not appear for some reason 32% bullet damage, you say. Is that better than another glory and victory? Is the question, I guess. Higher rate of fire. Higher crit bonus. Now I think I'd rather have another glory and victory. Yeah, we really want... We really, really want magazine size down. The fact that you can't look at your stuff that you took is really frustrating. Like, I'm trying to see. What did I... What did I grab that added magazine size? I don't, I don't get it. Maybe I accidentally just grabbed an upgrade. That wouldn't put it past me. Um, okay. Well, this being the case. Good up our bullet count. Hitting an enemy also. This one's interesting. Solely because it increased our move speed, so we maybe we can avoid him. Um, I don't think I want it though. Consuming grenade charge will give the resulting grenade all elemental attributes. You and your partner can deal. Your grenade also inflict all status elements that you and your partner are capable of inflicting. Huh. I don't have the last upgrade. Fortunately. Vampiric magazine. Bullet damage. Killing enemy heals you. Really good. Um, this ends up doing a ton. Your partner killing an enemy, increase your rate of fire. I'll take Vampiric Magazine. All 
All right, so we want to be in this area. I think it'll be all right, probably. I would feel so much better if we only had one ammo though. Cut it off. No, <laughs> come on. All right, rate of fire. How in the world? Have we only found found one filed off magazine at this point? Seems insane to me. But roguelikes be roguelikeing, I guess. All right, let's take Hellfire. Let's see. Is it um? I think it counts. Special power magazines. Okay, maybe I just hit a Ripper Clips. It's very possible I just did and like didn't notice it. I'm gonna take special power. Um, so our rate of fire is 15, 14, 14, 16. Yeah, it is resetting with our ammo speed, unfortunately. So don't really get the bonus there, it seems like. Which makes me think we probably could have done a better barrel. Alright, options, options time. Um, yeah, we're taking this. It's just a ton of extra damage. And it scales with crit bonus like crazy. I think. I'm, I'm under the assumption that the extra damage is added to your bullets and when that damage is added to your bullets um logically that bu damage should be able to be scaled um with your crit bonus um let's step into the arena now the minute left thought i i thought we had it for a second we've got this one and this one both of these are like their rarer ones but no ripper clips also, our, our, our rate of fire is atrocious. So one thing I really want to see in this game that's not in yet is a hey, cool forge. Well, this is the way to the secret way, uh, the secret area. One thing I really want to see is the math on The guns of the stuff you've taken like the multipliers because I thought with hellfire barrel I would have hit the rate of fire cap earlier but I guess that wasn't the case oh filed off mag I mean this was part of it too we were just gonna take a bunch of filed off mags and lower our magazine size right so I just didn't think I would need quite as many as we have we are also only level 50 when I think we need to be a little bit higher. But let's pick this sucker up. Clear out all of these guys. I think we're just going to die to the boss here. But maybe not. So. We don't have the attack speed for the Hellfire Barrel. But we can go Grenade Launcher. If we can get the other upgrade before the boss spawns, right? It will give us the pineapple launcher. The pineapple launcher heals us. That will go with the vampire mag, so we'll hit for a ton of damage there. I don't think that's a terrible strategy. It may not be the best, but we'll figure it out. All right, another file off mags for me. Damn. <laughs> Oh, that would have been good. Do we take... I think we take bullet damage. Yeah, this is just not not it so far. Wait, was there... No, oh, I thought I saw crit bonus 150%. I was confused for a second. I was like, there ain't no way. We definitely put a lot more into it than that. So 
So maybe more enemy count and more XP gain early on would have been better. We'll see. I think we're just going to get run over, but you never know. All right, pineapple grenade launcher, big, big bullet damage upgrade, more shrapnel and 30% chance of restoring um, some health, which again, um, obviously leads to vampire stuff. And here is the final boss. Spoiler, El Fuego. He is uh, El Bullshit, if I'm being honest. Um, target him. I'm going to run away. Uh, and you can see that we are just, this the gun is not it. It has not gotten there. It did not come to fruition. We really needed one ammo a while back. Uh, he's also very quick. The one thing we have going for us right now is that he is slowed inside the bubble. If he was not slowed inside the bubble, he would have already killed us. So I quite literally have to control the, the drone on him. Otherwise, we die. Well, we're gonna die anyway. But yeah. Um, damn, that gun just really didn't work out, huh? Yeah, it'd be nice to be able to look at the gun too afterwards, like... I mean, well, well, let's be real here. I guess we can, right? I guess I could just inspect it. So... This came too late. This ended up not really mattering, I would say. Surprisingly, maybe shotgun was the problem. Maybe we didn't want to start shotgun. Um, pineapple launcher again super late. I still think this is pretty good like if we go and just check the damage of our gun So we were putting out 300,000 400,000 oh wait, I'm not counting the grenade um, oh, We breached seven so this is like a set. Oh, we're on eight now. Oh, it's just going to scale because the bleeding's going to stack. Okay, so we're going to hit over a million DPS gun here. Yeah. So, for the record, we're we're on a million DPS gun. And we hit him this long. So, like, this is real. We were hitting him with a million DPS gun, and this wasn't good enough. So, that's, like, a thing to remember. I... I would say... <laughs> that... This is really good. Maybe. Maybe instead of doing this whole stuff, if we. Oh, also, wait, is that. Oh, no, my HP is also staying even, so I'm not like cheating it by having full health. That's just the actual DPS of the gun. Wow. Um. Huh. I'm not even gonna keep the gun either because it's like not practical for most of the run it's only good at the last minute where are the changes here we got early chevron charm which was really good too but maybe maybe a fire rate charm would have been more important i'm curious what do you guys think let me know in the comments um but yeah that last boss is some bullshit huh uh, this gun that's gonna be hit 2 million dps wasn't good enough insane insane and i'm gonna throw it in the trash now but hey if you like the video don't forget to like comment subscribe all that youtube stuff i appreciate you all for watching um oh i made a faustian bargain Twenty six thousand. okay i guess flamethrower time tomorrow huh anyways see you guys later have a good day Jeff out bye